Syria is in free fall. Crimes that shock uh, the conscience have become a reality daily uh, in Syria. Uh, humanity has been the casualty of this war. This is the price of the international collective failure to end this conflict. Uh, we emphasize that there is a devastating human cost to the availability of weapons, and that there is also political cost. Weapons fuel the party's illusion that they can win this war, pulling them further uh, into battle and further away from the negotiating table. We are expecting the other... We, as we have said, uh, we think that there are too many red lines already crossed in Syria that uh, even if uh, we recognize that chemical agents or uh, chemical weapons, the use of chemical agents uh, or chemical weapons uh, is a war crime, I think that there are too many crimes against humanity, gross human rights violations, uh, war crimes you name, that could motivate uh, the Security Council and the international community to end uh, the violence towards a real ceasefire. The only solution, I think, is the, uh, is the Geneva Conference, uh, that uh, real negotiation. What we say is that delivering arms uh, engage the responsibility of uh, uh, those who deliver the arms uh, because uh, uh, the people who will receive those arms uh, could commit uh, uh, war crimes and gross human rights violations. That is, is very important to uh, have this in account when uh, arms are being delivered. It is very problematic to have mapping of the, the rebel groups because every week the chains of loyalty change and then uh, this notion of good guys and bad guys, this is uh, extremely relative because uh, our preoccupation is that uh, those arms will uh, contribute uh, to the escalation of uh, war crimes and gross human rights violations. Thank you. Bye. Thanks.